Moo! Welcome everybody to A Link to the Past, part number two. I am Cow's Crazy. Now last part we rescued Zelda from the basement, and now we're trying to get her the hell out of here. And we can get our lamp on so we can see a bit more. There we go. How's that? Is that bright enough for you, everybody? You know, you can at least see the mice. The mice, the mice. Um, I don't know why mice have rupees, but whatever. Oh, the light went out. Oh, that's a shame. But yeah, you can kill all the mice. You can pick up the pots. You can light the pot. You can light the torches if you want. It's not necessary to do in every room, though. I basically know my way around. There's gonna be a bunch of snakes here. Oh crap! I think one of these snakes has something important, though. Or is this not the right room? Maybe it's not the right room. Oh yeah, it's a rat later on. But I like to kill them all just because they're easy to kill and... Do I drop in money right about now is... Money won't be important later on in the game, but... For the first bit, you're gonna wanna... You're gonna wanna save up some rupees. And the sooner you get there, the better. There's your key. What's over here? Another keys? Some more magic? That's about it, let's get out of this room. Need the key to open the door. You after passing through these sewers, we will be very close to the sanctuary. Let's be careful! Oh yeah. Ew, we're walking in pee pee! Ooh, gross. Ew, Zelda dropped a deuce down here. Oh no, we're in the sewers. This is nasty. Like seriously, who would do this? Come back here, Marks. Hey, hey! Don't touch me. I didn't appreciate that. You know? Don't touch me, stupid mouse. Get my revenge on you! Anyways, there's a door way up here that I'm looking for. I just like killing mice. Die, micey, micey! And bat! 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 It's a Batman! Alright, I think this is the room you have to kill the mice, right? Okay? One of these mice should. Maybe it's this one. Yep, there he is. A mice has a key. A key. Why does a mice have a key? A key for this room, too. Isn't that weird? Off to the. Oh, a red rupee. That's 20 bucks right there. That's big. You can see this. This is definitely. That's a very obvious clue that this is a bomb of a wall. Sadly, we don't have bombs. So we'll have to be back. Hey, I don't like it when you touch me, so I get revenge on that. Even though I did say last episode you don't have to kill everything. But, you know, I'm confident in my powers. So, I get revenge. And that leads to the same room, just another side. So we'll be, we'll be back here to collect whatever's behind those bombable walls. So what we got here? We got more mice. This room you don't really have to stop in, but it's good. It's a good. It's a good, decent money room. You can build up. You can build up a good uh, stockpile of cash. We're up to 50 rupees already. So, sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over, over there. That's very helpful, Zelda. You know, you don't. You just say over there, and then you don't. Look, you can go towards either switch, and like she doesn't really help me out here. So let's pick this one first. Uh oh, I picked the wrong one and now I'm under attack by snakes! Oh no! Oh no, snakes! Like, Zelda doesn't even warn you, she's just like, pull the switch over there. Can you pull it again, just for fun? You can, too. Oh, but nothing else comes down. That sucks. Yeah, see, she tells you when you got the right one, though. You have to pull the lever to open the door. Press A, yeah, yeah, I'll push A, don't worry. Opened. Do do do. Princess Zelda, you are safe. Is this your doing, cows? It almost sounds like he's accusing me of something. Yes, it was cows who helped me escape from the dungeon when I was captive. The wizard said, "Once I have." Finished with you, the final one! The seal of the wise men will open! Cows, you 
must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men, evil power will overwhelm this land before that happens, before it's too late. Destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. I sense that a mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary Master Sword. It is said that the village elder is the descendant of one of the seven wise men. Then why wasn't he captured? Why isn't he being sent off and disappeared? You know? No. The eight, he just likes to go after little girls, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You won't touch him or nothing, you know. <laughs> Maybe he can tell you more. I will mark his house on your map. But watch your every move. I am certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry, seek the Elder. When did he start talking and she stopped? Hmm, I thought that was Zelda talking the whole time. Maybe maybe he just started talking there with a new box. I don't know. When did they change? didn't say, but do I understand? Sure, why not? <laughs> and we get a heart container. We're up to four. Four hearts. So yes, we do have a map. We can check out that map by pushing the X button. That shows us our present location. You can look around. <gasps> look at the X. The X marks the spot. And you could go out of sequence, but I'm not going to, because I'm going to go out of sequence sometimes, but also sometimes I'm going to show you the game, the way the game wants you to do it. And if you do it the way the game wants you to do it, you can get some extra treasures too. So let's head over that way to the town. Well, let, let's get my boomerang back on. I don't need my lantern. Not for a while, at least. You can hit them with the boomerang and they freeze. They're frozen solid. So that's usually the best way to defeat your enemies. Now the first thing I want to do is before I even go in the town, um, I want to come up this way. So there's something we gotta do first. But um, see, this is a fortune teller and honestly you'll never need it because well you're watching this. So if you have a guide, it's basically your guidebook. If you get lost, you're unsure what to do, um, you can always go to the fortune teller and it will help you out. We're going to go into the woods to start things off here. It's a very foggy woods. Somebody's smoking up in here, you know? Got the, got the magic herbs going. And in here is a thieves hut. I will tap on things when I want you to know about them, you know? I can go up to, like, even, even this tree sounds like it's made out of metal. You can tap on it. Tappy tappy tap. So you go around this way, and we just want to grab the magic mushroom. This mushroom smells like sweet rotten fruit. You can give this to anyone who wants it. Who would want it? Well, you know, unless unless you're trying to get high or something. <laughs> but cut down these bushes, and in the middle is a hole. Oh my god, and there was also a, a landmine there too, which was bad. But anyways, here is our first... The first ever piece of a heart. You got a little piece of my heart now, baby. Yes, we got a piece of a heart. And they've basically been in every game since then. And you might not want to talk to this guy, but actually it's very, very important. And this probably won't come up for many parts from now. But it's vital you speak to this guy at least once. Hey, kid. This is a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way. I heard that one of our ex-members is staying at the entrance to the desert. That is a key piece of information. If you never talk to him and you never find that out, something later on in the game will be a little difficult to do. And you'll be wondering why am I not getting the item that I so desire. That one little piece of dialogue is very important. But now, we can leave the- we'll explore the woods later. But we don't really need to go deeper into the woods right now. Right now, we can head into town. 
And if you read the first sign in town... Oh my god, it's a picture of me! Wanted! This is the criminal who kidnapped Zelda. Call a soldier if you see him. I'm being framed! I'm being framed! Oh no! So what we want to do is come into this house, because on your map, you can see... Oh, that's where X marks the spot! And there's this chick doing a weird kind of, maybe a locomotion kind of dance in place. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, it's you, cows. What can I do for you, young man? The elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the wizard began collecting victims. What? Master Sword? Well, I don't remember the details exactly, but... Long ago, a prosperous people known as the Hilla inhabited this land. Legends tell of many treasures that the Hilla hid throughout the land. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged against those with evil hearts, is one of them. People say that it now is sleeping deep in the forest. Do you understand the legend? Sure. Anyway, look for the Elder. There must be someone in the village who knows where he is. You take care now, cows. So the elder goes running for safety, and his wife... Oh, I think it's his wife. Doesn't know where he is. And I can't tap... Oh, I thought I could tap my sword on her on her head. That would have been funny. And they sleep in separate beds, because, you know, people don't have sex. It's like the 50s, you know? <laughs> but... Here we are, the village, and now we must find somebody in the village that knows where the Elder is. Oh, where could the Elder be? Well, we'll try to track that person down in the next episode. Until then, everybody, I've been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe, please leave a comment below, and of course, MOO!